Child's pose. So come on down onto your mat, hips back toward your heels, forehead down toward the floor, hands, palms up at your sides, next to your feet, shoulders relaxing. Take a few breaths. Just let that back begin to stretch. Bring your knees closer, get the lower back stretching a little more. And then bring your arms out in front. Pivot up, slide your legs back, come all the way down onto your belly. And arms at your sides, forehead to the floor. Feet hip width apart. And inhale, face to the front, crown toward the ceiling. Coming up into a little gentle back bend in your cobra. So chest forward and up. And bring that chin back toward your chest so your neck gets a good stretch. Push your hands back toward your feet. Come into a little upper body back bend. And then exhale, slowly bring your forehead back toward the floor, hands under your shoulders, and again, press back and into child's pose. Take a moment, just releasing and relaxing again, letting that whole spine get a good forward bend. And then arms again out and pivot up and roll all the way back onto your belly. Clasp your hands behind your lower back. And again, face to the front, crown up. Chin back towards your chest, shoulders and shoulder blades down towards your waist. And heart forward and up into another supported cobra this time. So you've got support on that lower back. Don't go too far. Just bring the heart forward and up. Lengthen through the spine. Moving the chin slightly toward the chest so that your neck stretches. And exhale back down. And again, when your forehead is down, hands under your shoulders, press back. And another nice child's pose forward then. Take a moment there, just breathing, release any tension. And bring your arms out to the front again. Pivoting up and rolling back onto your belly. And hands, palms up at your sides, forehead on the floor. This time bring your arms in, palms down next to your face, elbows in at your sides. And again, inhale, face forward, crown up, chin back toward your chest, stretch the chest forward and up, crown toward the ceiling. And again, keep that back of the neck stretching nice and long as we come into this sphinx cobra position. Feet are hip width apart. Remember, the lower body is just sinking. You don't have to get into your lower back. You can keep your body closer to the floor if you need to for this back bend. Chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. And again, as you exhale, Bring your forehead toward the floor, hands under your shoulders, and another press and into child's pose. Good stretch on your back. Keep breathing and relaxing. And again, arms out, pivoting up, or rolling all the way down onto your belly. Take a moment there, forehead toward the floor. Feet hip width apart. And again, hands in near your face, palms down, forehead, forearms on the floor. Inhaling, face to the front, crown up. Shoulder, shoulder blades down, chest forward and up, chin slightly in, and lengthen up through the crown, back through the feet. Take a moment there, get comfortable. Then we're going to do a twist. So exhaling. Look over toward the side, rotating your whole spine and body. So the ribs that are, you're leaning away from come down toward the floor. The other ones come slightly up and looking toward the side. Whole body turning through that torso to come into just a gentle little twist. And then exhale, looking back toward the mat. 
And exhaling forehead down. Take a moment there, just release and relax. And keep those hands where they are, elbows in at your sides. And again, inhale, face forward, crown up. Chest forward and up, crown to the ceiling, chin slightly toward your chest, stretch the back of your neck, get a nice upper body stretch through the whole spine, and then exhale and turn and look toward that other side. And again, only as far as your body wants to go. The hip you're turning toward may come up a little bit. The ribs you're turning away from come down a little bit. The shoulder moves slightly in that direction as well. Take another breath and exhale. Turn back to the center. Another breath and exhale, forehead toward the floor. Hands under your shoulders. And again, press back into child's pose and get a good stretch again in that forward bend. Take a moment, just breathing. And then inhale it. Sit up and come into a cross leg position. So sitting bones slightly behind you. And of course, we're creatures of habit. So go ahead and switch your legs around. And just a gentle, easy pose. Coming into whatever's comfortable for you in that cross leg position. So we're going to warm up the neck a little bit. So bringing your ear over toward one side. Just let that ear come down toward the shoulder straight down and let the other side get a nice little stretch through the side. Keep the rest of your body, don't forget, facing the front. So hips and shoulders stay square to the front. And then the side you're tipping toward, that hand comes up. Just a little weight on the side of your head for a little extra stretch, not too much, don't push, just a little weight. And then if you like that, you can put the other hand to the floor, press down through your fingers or your palm for a little extra stretch on that side of your neck. Always personal practice, don't go too far. And then release the hands back to your lap and tip your head upright, feel that side of your shoulder and we'll do the other one. So tip the ear over, nothing else moves or changes. Just relaxing, letting that ear come toward the shoulder. Both shoulders stay down. And then bring the hand side, you're tipping toward hand up. And again, just some weight, not pressure, letting a little extra stretch along that shoulder and top of your arm. Other hand coming down at your side, if you love it. And relax. Maximize or minimize, remember, personal practice, what's right for your body. And then releasing your hands, tip your head back upright, feel the sides of your neck a little bit more lengthened. And then bringing your hands to your sides, shoulders down, bring one arm out, palm up over your shoulder, slide over with your whole body this time to the side. Keep both hips down, both sitting bones down. Reach out through your hand and your head, lengthening through that whole side. And then sliding back up, exhale and release. Switch your legs around because we like to even things out. Sitting bones behind you, spine again stacked and supported and arms at your sides. Other arm coming out, Palm up toward the ceiling at shoulder level and then right above your shoulder. Keep both shoulders down, slide this hand away and again, leaning without lifting those sitting bones or hips. Let your whole side get a nice lengthening stretch all along the ribs. And again, on an inhalation, come back up and release, feel the sides a little longer as you're in that seated position. And then cupping your hands around your knees, pull the ribs back and tuck your chin slightly forward, look down toward your mat. 
And then roll your body over to the side. Lift your heart toward the ceiling and just some circles around. Coming all the way back to the center and continuing. So feel your whole lower body getting a little bit more of the focus on this rotation as well as your heart. And then the next time you're forward, just pause. And of course, we're going to rotate the other way because we balance the body, remember, always in yoga. So coming all the way around a few times, just lifting the heart at the back, feeling the body going into a forward bend toward the front, feeling the side stretch as you rotate all the way around both sides. And again at the front, just pause, shoulders toward your waist as you sit back up and into cross leg position. And then we're going to extend the legs out to the front. And just allow your bottoms of your feet to press away, knees up toward the ceiling, toes up toward the ceiling. Spine stacked for support, get the core activated for support as well. Shoulders back and down. And again, just keep reaching up through the crown. We're going to bring the hands just gently behind you and turn the fingertips toward your hips, toward your toes. Press into your hands just gently and look up toward the ceiling. Lift your heart. So just a little upper body back bend there. And then chin toward your chest. And again, sitting back up, hands to your lap. So a little more opening across the heart. And then we're going to go up into a reverse plank. So remember, if your wrists are too much, you can lean back onto your forearms and do this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in staff position. Fingertips toward your hips, toward your toes. Press into your palms and press up with your hips as you press down into your palms and heels of your palms. Elbows and shoulders right above your wrist and base of the feet going down toward the floor, getting your body as straight as you can. And remember, if you've got wrist issues, you can come back onto your elbows and lift those hips. And again, get as straight in that position as you can. So whichever position you're in, you want to be lifting those hips evenly, chest open, shoulder blades toward your waist, and getting as straight from your ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders as you can. And then again, lowering the sitting bones toward the floor, coming back into staff position. Take a moment and breathe. Bring your arms at shoulder level, palms up and stretch high. Exhale, hands down to your shoulders, sink into your hips. Sitting bones and then stretch from your sitting bones up through the fingers and the head. And again, exhale down. Stretch one more time way up as you breathe in. Chest and chin lead, pivot at the sitting bones or the hip joints at the top of your thighs and reach for your toes, sitting bones moving behind you a little bit. So just reaching as far along your legs as you can go, keeping your back as straight as it feels comfortable for you. So the chest and chin lead toward your legs and you don't have to go deep. You just want to keep those sitting bones pushing back this Hip joint right at the top of your thighs is your pivot point, and you're just coming as far forward as your arms want to go. So they may be on your toes or your legs or the floor. It's your choice. Lengthen again, bring the head in line with the rest of the back. And then exhale, chest and chin a little deeper. And then if you want a little more stretch, Forehead down toward your legs. And then bring your arms next to your ears. Straighten your back again and pivot back up and release. So we're in stacked position. 
sitting down slightly behind you. And we're going to go into a little twist. So just bring your arms to shoulder level, palms toward the floor. Reach your crown high, get that spine nice and stretched apart. And then exhale, rotate your whole body to look to the side, keeping your arms right across from each other. So one arm toward your foot, toward the other one toward the back. Lengthen up, exhale, deepen into your twist, looking to the side. And then following back to the center, everything straight across, shoulders and shoulder blades still down. Core, remember, active, spine still stretching apart, arms reaching out through the fingertips, shoulders and shoulder blades still toward your waist. And we're going to keep stretching that spine apart so we can twist to the opposite side. And again, go as far as your body wants. You may not get all the way with that hand all the way toward your foot and the other arm right behind you, but go as far as it's comfortable into your twist. And then exhaling, turn back to the center, arms stretching out. Go ahead and release those arms for a moment. Feel your spine a little bit more energized with twist energy. Just kind of notice what happens internally, that yoga perspective. Don't forget to keep breathing as we do all our work in yoga. Take a moment, sitting bones behind you, spine nice and stacked and supportive. Get that core active. Shoulders and shoulder blades down. And again, our arms are up at shoulder level, palms toward the floor. Take a moment and reach the crown a little higher toward the ceiling. Again, we're going to turn toward that twist. So go as far toward the side as feels good for you. Keep those arms right across from each other. Take a breath, lengthen up, and then exhale. Push your hand to the front and just let your body Go a little bit more into that stretch. And then back to where you started and exhale, turning back to the center. Arms straight across from each other as much as you can. You can always put the arms down for a brief moment if you need to. And shoulders and shoulder blades down, crown reaching up, get that spine stretching apart, fingertips reaching out right at shoulder level and exhale, turning to the other direction. And again, as you get there, just take a moment and breathe and move your hand toward your foot or toward the front, wherever you are. And then again, back to where you started. And again, turning back to the center, stretch out, crown high, fingers reaching toward the sides and exhale back into staff position. Take a moment, just feeling your spine again, a little bit more energized as you're in that position. Then we're gonna come up onto our knees. So as always, if you need some padding under your knees, fold your mat or get a cushion if that's necessary for your comfort. I'm gonna sit back, hips on your heels, just coming into a kneeling position as we start. Core activated. Spine stretching apart, shoulders down, and crown toward the ceiling. And just take a moment in that kneeling position, and don't forget to breathe. And then crown high, bring your hands behind you, clasp the fingers, press them toward your feet, and lift your heart looking up. So we're gonna go into a forward bend from here. So as you press the hands down, you'll feel that heart expansion across the front of your body. And then as you exhale, we're gonna pivot at the hips again, bring your chest toward the floor, your hands up toward the ceiling, and then your forehead down toward the floor. You can round as much as you like as you get all the way down. You can keep moving those arms so that the hands go in the direction of your head. If you like your shoulders, you get more work. And just go as far as your body wants to go into that forward bend. Take a moment and breathe. Hips sinking back as much toward the heels as possible. If they have to come up a little bit to make that move, that's okay. And then on an inhalation, look toward the front as you come back up, bringing your hands back toward your feet, coming back. And continue looking up and bring your head back 
as you press those hands down toward the floor. And again, feel that upper body going to a little back bend. And then inhale, sitting up on your heels. And you can release your arms back to your lap as you're in that kneeling position. And remember, you can put padding under your ankles too. If that's too much for your ankles, always do what's right for your body. Now we're going to do the same thing, but with the hands clasped the opposite way. So shift the fingers one position over so the other fingers on the outside. And again, pressing the hands down, looking up. Stretch, lift the heart, push the head back. And exhale, pivot at your hips. Bring those hands up as the head comes toward the floor in front of your knees. And again, go as far into that as your body wants to go. Let those arms come up as much or as little as they need to for your shoulders. Or head toward the floor as far as it wants to go. You can lift the hips a little bit if that feels more comfortable for you. Or sink them back toward your heels for a really good stretch along the back of your body. Take a moment and breathe. Don't forget to relax as you exhale. And then again, inhale. Move the face forward, crown up, bringing the hands back toward the floor as you bring that upper body up. And again, a little back bend as you press the hands down toward the mat. So go as far into that as your body lights, looking up, lifting the chest, lifting the heart, stretching your head back away. Remember, don't crunch the neck too much. You wanna make sure that that neck keeps stretching along with the rest of the spine. And then looking forward again, exhaling, releasing, coming back into your kneeling position. Just feel a little bit more circulation again through your whole body. Take a moment to breathe, lengthen up through the crown. Bring your arms overhead, stretch up through your fingertips. And then as you exhale, we're gonna to turn to one side and bring one hand back along your feet and the other hand next to your knee. So the palm faces out, so you keep that shoulder nice and open. Lengthen up through the spine. Exhale, turn a little deeper into the twist if you like. So remember, your whole body turns, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything, not just your neck. Take a moment and breathe, just exhaling into that twist. And then bring your arms back up. Exhale around to the center and release your arms to your side. And of course, we're going to twist to the other side. So as you do that, remember, just go as far as your body wants to go into the twist. You may only go that way. Arms out, all the way over your shoulders, stretch up. And then exhale, return to the other side. Hand coming toward the knee, the other foot behind you toward your feet. And again, lengthen up, exhale, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning over toward the side you're turning toward. So you're not just turning your head, looking to the side, the whole spine is doing the work. Take a breath, just exhale into it. And then again, releasing the arms, bringing them back up, turning back to the center and releasing back into your kneeling position. Of course, you can always bring those feet up and circle them around if that's too much on your ankles. And then we're going to bring the legs back out and front into staff position. So go ahead and leave those sitting bones behind you, press out through the bottoms of your feet, relax through the shoulders, who are always activated, supporting your spine. Take a moment again, just releasing and relaxing into your seated position. And then bringing one foot up to your inner thigh, bring the knee up to the side. And then the other leg comes back next to heel, next to your hip, as much or as little as your body likes. Sink down and stretch up. And again, we're gonna go into a twist. So bring your hand to the outside of the knee, the other foot, hand to your foot, or behind you a little bit further for another twist. So keep lengthening up through the spine, exhaling and turning. So this hip you're turning toward, the second knee you've bent, 
that can be up a little bit off the floor so you can facilitate that full twist. Hip, rib, shoulder, everything moving into your twist as much as you would like. Take a moment and breathe, lengthening up as you inhale. Exhale, maybe turning deeper if you love a twist. And then releasing your arms, just turning back to the center and releasing your legs back into staff position. Again, sitting bones slightly behind you as you press out through your feet, up through the crown, and bring that other foot up into the inner thigh, be bending with that heel coming near your opposite heel. Stretch up, get this hip slightly up so you can twist. You don't want to be planting that lower back and overworking that lower back in the twist. And exhale, reach your hand for the knee, the other one for your foot or behind you on the floor. Stretch your spine up, get that spine open for twisting. Exhale and turn your whole body a little further if that's right for you. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale, tension. And again, lengthening up. Release your hands. Exhaling, turning back to the center. Feel all that twist energy through you, getting us ready for our final relaxation. So bringing your legs up to the end of the mat. Core activated as you roll all the way onto the floor. Getting ready for box position and our final relaxation. Just take a moment to let your whole body relax. So lots of torso spine work today. Just let that whole upper body release deep into that surface beneath you. Take a few moments to breathe. Exhale, tension. Just let your body soften and sink into that earth support beneath you. Release your jaw, your throat, your neck. You can roll your head side to side as you need to. Get everything softening and sinking. Let your belly move as you breathe, fully expanding into that breath. Exhale, just let the tension go along with those exhalations. And just as you breathe deeply, let your body go, just sinking deeper into that earth support. And as your body releases from awareness, sinking into the earth, just allow your mind to release thoughts of your body as well. And as those thoughts disappear, other thoughts will come to you. And it's always the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, you can let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just let each thought float away without awareness. As your body relaxes and your mind releases, just allow that attention to turn inward to the peace within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. And just take a few moments to be peace.
And if you have time to do keep relaxing even longer, feel free to stay in your release as long as it's good for you today. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin breathing more deeply, drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And whenever you're ready, begin moving your body just gently, however feels good for you to do. As you breathe more deeply, just stretch more fully. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, Sitting bones toward your heels, drawing your heels toward your hips and your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that good appreciative yoga hug today. Letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor or rolling over to the side. And sitting back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for your day today. Thanks for joining us.